Hi there. Today we're going to talk about loading pictures up into the website that you're building. Now you're probably not a website designer, you're a lawyer or a real estate agent or a therapist or something like that where you've got a full-time job doing other things and you don't need to know every little thing about building a website. But you want to have a beautiful, professional, fast website that loads quickly so people don't leave when the pictures are, you know, when the little circle things going <laughs> around. And I will leave, you know, when that happens on some websites. If it takes a long time, I'm out of there, I'm going to the next thing. So we want your website to be fast, but you don't, you know, want to, you probably don't know about, about all the ins and outs of how big a picture is. You probably don't know how big your pictures are or how small they are. And we're gonna talk about that today. In this day and age, website speed is important. Um, some people get really, crazy about it and some people really worry about it and they do speed tests all the time and I don't think that you need to do that. I don't think your website's got to load in like, you know, a, a 16th of a second or, or something like that. I mean, people are going to wait a sec you know, for it to, to load, but you, but at the same time, you want it to be pretty fast. And the other thing is when your website loads almost instantly, it just makes your website look more professional. It makes you look more professional and that's what's really important. Often photographers give you really huge, huge um, files. And I have website clients give me files all the time that they, you know, they went and had a photographer take pictures of themselves or of their business and they're enormous, you know, thousands and thousands of megabytes big. Um, and the client has no idea how big they are. So what I do is I compress them. And it sounds like a complicated thing to do, but it's not. It's a lot easier than it sounds. And it just, it, it takes a few minutes. And I'm gonna show you how. Best of all, it's free. Okay, well, first of all, I just wanna mention that if you are using a photographer and they are handing you files, the easiest thing to do is just ask the photographer to compress them and they should know how to do that. Ask them for pictures that are, you know, under two megabytes tops um, and they ought to be able to do that for you. And I'll put that information and the size that is good for you down in the comments below um, so you can have that for a reference. What are, what are the best sizes for pictures to put on your website? But if you've just got a bunch of pictures that you've already been given or you took them yourself and sometimes the pictures that we take on our phones are huge or in our um, DSLR cameras. Um, Canva, when I do um, designs on Canva and download them, they're, they're super big sometimes and so I wanna make them smaller. And so just to start off, I'm gonna move myself down here, make myself a little smaller. And just to show you, you know, here's a website I did for a fine artist. And so he's got really big pictures. They're very high resolution, but his website is about the pictures. So they've got to look really fantastic. Another example of this is a, a real estate company. This company's in LA and their images have to look beautiful. These are actually pictures that I created in Canva and put overlays on them and downloaded them and uploaded them into here. And then I've got a jazz singer here. She had incredible, beautiful images to put on her website and they have to be beautiful, but her site's got to go fast. It's got to load quickly. So these are the sort of pictures that you wanna make sure that you are compressing. Let's go back to, here go to, tiny JPEG and there's tiny PNG. I've got two up here. This is the free version. It's up to 20 images, max five megabytes each. And then the paid for version. And the paid for version is literally like $25 a year. It's not a big deal if you are a photographer or an artist or you have a store and you're loading lots of product images that you took with your phone, you want them to load quickly, so you want to compress them, 
this is the way to go. And so you can do as many images as you want and a max 75 megabytes each, which is ginormous. You probably won't have a picture that big. So if you go back to, this is the free version. If you go back here and I move this back and forth, you can see the original on the left side, the compressed one on the right side, and there really is, I can't see any difference. If there's a difference, it is, um, you need better eyesight than I have to notice it. It looks really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a Dropbox file that I've got, and this is for a photographer whose website I'm doing. And so she sent me all of these. So I'm going to download, I'm going to download this picture. I'll show you, I'll show you the picture first. Let's, we'll pick this one. So this is a bench on the beach and I could have just downloaded it from there, but I didn't. So I'm going to download it right here and it's just going to go sit down at the bottom of my screen. I'm going to leave it there. So let's go back to the free version, see if we can use this one. So I'm just going to pick this up, drag it and drop it. And yes, I can use it. It's a JPEG. I could have, it could be a PNG. They kind of are interchangeable and it was below five megabytes and look how tiny it has compressed it. So I can download it directly to my computer here, or I can just save it back to Dropbox and it's going to, which I clicked on, it's going to save back in here. Um, and we'll go back into my Dropbox folder and there it is. It's down here and it looks just the same. So when I go to my website, I use Wix websites, for example, and I can just upload this directly from Dropbox into my website editor, or I can just download this here and upload it anywhere I want to. And that is how you compress pictures. They look just as good. You're going to have a fantastic looking website that loads quickly and it's super easy. Thank you for watching. And I think your website's going to be much more beautiful because of what you learned here today. I have a guide called 21 Elements You Must Have to Build Your Website and it, it includes every little thing that you want to have before you start building a website all listed out there's a workbook go and get it and if you go get that and do everything in those 21 elements and you go to build your site you're going to be building it so quickly it's um it will really help you out and if you like what you see here please subscribe to my channel and i appreciate that and we'll see you next time